Hi. The question I get asked more than any other by far is, what's it like to work with so-and-so? The answers are often interchangeable general compliments that give little, if any, information about the actual experience. What is it really like to work with Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Steven Seagal? What is it like to work with JCVD? The title for this movie could have been Wilt W.W. What's it like to work with... This movie isn't going to tell you. It's going to show you my impression of what it's like to be on the set with so-and-so. We've combined traits of these action stars and a few others into one fictional character, the great Vardell Dusseldorfer. His friends simply call him B.D. Much of what you're about to see, I actually witnessed. And as they say on TV, the names have been changed so the guilty won't sue you. And so, to my aforementioned muses, thank you. Now, let's find out what it's like to work with so-and-so. Welcome to Excess Hollywood. Excess Hollywood. Lots of dirt, no cleanup. <laughs> I'm your host, Tara Gray. On the comeback trail, the great Vardell Dusseldorfer. His adoring fans who often contract his uber long name to VD. Some things defy explanation. But one thing is for sure, his fans do love him. I love VD. I've been a fan of VD for 17 years. Keep it coming, stay off the hook, stay hot with the people. That's how we do it. To have VD, it is to love VD. I've been a VD fan for 52 years. <laughs> you can say what you want about Vardell, but he got where he is because of one reason. He's the great VD. My mama told me that VD was a disease. Dusseldorfer, <laughs> number, number one. The embarrassed Uber Notorial has wandered once again in front of a camera. Uzbekistan apparently wishes to play host to VD and welcomes him with open arms, if not a nice, warm Petri dish. <laughs> What might the Uzbekis expect? Well, let's hear from some stars who've had some experience with VD. Mr. Cove? I don't kiss and tell, especially when it involves something as personal as VD. I know. How about a Herculean quote from Mr. Kevin Sorbo himself? Working and Dusseldorfer. It's kind of an oxymoron, or a moron disguised as an ox. No, don't, don't use that. I got better. Working with Dusseldorfer. It was sort of like juggling water. You never really get the balls in the air, and you have to clean up afterwards. Oh, nice shot, Kevin. <laughs> Who would have thought that the former bodybuilder's small time in office would be punctuated by a maid escapade? I was just trying to show her how to work up the large folds of fatty dummy belly flap. And it just slipped in there. Yeah, it, it was accident. 
and poof, it made a baby. We can support his support of moms and public breastfeeding. More public breastfeeding, more public breastfeeding. But what about his bill to get goldfish? Yes, uh-huh. Goldfish in every home? Not the goldfish. Goldfish propagation <laughs> reduces the greenhouse gases and helps the children relax. You made goldfish dirty. The movie that made him go into politics in the first place was that fascist time machine wreck that detonated more than his fragile career. <laughs> That was the director's fault. So can dysfunction be dysfunctional? Has the expendable actor, yes, expendable actor, passed his expiration date? It's not looking good for our hero. Pause for movie trailer voice. Thank you. Will our hero make it out alive? Oh, you would think it's easy to make a movie. You sit there in your dong and your air conditioner and you judge me! I'd like to see you crawl through mud, sweat, work 20 hours a day. I tell you, hard time on Mars will make more money than you can count to. I show you. I show you! I show you. I did not retire. I got extension. favorite rehabilitator rekindle his past and extend his career will he be back will hard time on mars be the spark vd needs or just hard time should we wish the uzbekistanis luck or send them penicillin only time will tell vd 10 yards and closing quiet on the set Manya, our director, Vardell Dussel Dorfer, has come to join us. Thank you. Action, please. Thank you. Action. Nicely done, nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. VD? What? What are you doing, sir? We need more rock. You what? We, we need more rock. Where? 
Beer. VD, you know, we have set decorators that do that. I like set decorating. Yes, sir. So what about the fight? Uh, what about it? Can we lock it? Lock? Lock means that we're not going to change it. C can we lock it? We're not going to change it? I don't know. Are we? I don't know. I don't either. Why did you let him direct? He wouldn't do the film otherwise. This is nice. This is fun, huh? Wait. Get, get him to talk about his dick. It scares him, I think. It makes him insecure. Maybe he'll cover by behaving and getting back to work. Dick. 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 You want me to rub it for you? M maybe later. Uh, maybe after the fight scene? Yes? Yeah, I'm uh, thinking about it. Wow. So, uh, Vidi, w what about the fight? Can we lock it? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe you should teach me part of it. The first part? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mark! Let's get that fight going. Yeah, where's my saber? <laughs> Sorry. Freeze. Sir Jeffrey, would you mind if I take over? No, actually, I would enjoy that. Great. We'll call you when you're up. I'll be working on my lines. I need you to use and trust the length of your sword. Use and trust the length of my sword. Yes. It's kind of like the force. <laughs> yeah, the force. Think about keeping your hand in your pocket. Okay. In my pocket. Yes. Okay. I can do that. I can handle that. I think we need the girl. What? Yeah, the girl. No, she's knocked out. Yeah, but she can wake up. No, she's not supposed to wake up yet, Vidi. No. We she wake up, but she wants to come to my aid. But she's so stupid, she falls over again no. and knocks herself out. It would be no. very funny. Vidi, we're running out of time. Get me, Louis. Sir. Vidi. Get you, Louis. I would like the girl, please. Vidi. I want the girl. Get me, Maria. Great, Vidi. Chef Louis. Louis, what, what were those strips of things that we had? When? Last week. What day? Tuesday. That was the chicken. No, it was not the chicken. Maybe it wasn't Tuesday. Yeah, maybe. Wednesday? I don't know. It was the strips of things maybe we would uh, light pesto. No. The pesto was on the chicken on a Tuesday. Calamari. Yeah, <laughs> the calamari, but that was Thursday with a lemon herb and a sesame oil. Oh, it was Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Oh, well, I will have two strips of calamari al dente. Yes, sir. VD, Maria. Oh, Maria, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm very good now that you are here. Mm. We have decided to add you into the fight. Do I get to punch you? Uh, no. Kick you? No. Oh. But you do get to slap me in the face with your fair and ample bosom. Oh. Uh, okay. What happened? Sometimes I see things. 
What did you see? It was large and warm, and it felt really good. So, you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, we have to do the fight sometime today. Yes? Why don't you show us the second part of the fight, Mr. Choreographer? You will never get me. The crystals are mine. You will never get me. The crystals are mine. <laughs> you will never get me. <laughs> oh, God. I may. Oh, so Jeffrey. Of course. Uh, let me know what I can do for you. You will never get me. The crystals are mine. Does the previous sentence have a ring of familiarity to it? Sort of. Hmm. Uh, Shall we call it by its real name? What? Cliché. Oh. <laughs> do you want me saying clichés? No. What exactly was it about this script that made you want to make this movie? Why don't you retitle the film and call it The Cliché? Then it can be a comedy and I can laugh about it. What do you want to say? I want the words to not be plagiarized. I want them to have something to say that vaguely resembles my character, who is fucking religious, by the way. The crystals are mine. What the fuck is that? What did you pay for this script? A hundred. Hmm. A one hundred thousand dollar cliché. <laughs> Vini! You may want to stand clear. Jesus! Wafting! In his pants right now, there is more original color and content than in your script. Stay. Stay. Wow. Maria, did you see the size of that guy's bulge? European men put it pointed up to make it look bigger. The American men put it down to make it look bigger. No, they don't. It looks bigger up. No, American men point it down to make it look bigger. No, it looks bigger up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Stop talking about dick. Are you the only one who's allowed to talk about it, Mr. Director? Well, maybe I am. Hmm. I have the calamari. <gasps> it looks fantastic. <laughs> it is not as good as last week. Oh, no. Uh, VD. V uh, sir. Uh, um, Louis. Uh, uh, Louis? V Louis? Ten minutes, we're taking break? Why don't we just make a movie about break? At least it wouldn't be a cliché. You should have budgeted for some star wranglers. They have those? Oh, yes. Complete with ropes and cattle prods. Do you have their number? I could not do this without you guys. I love you. You gotta always be there for me. I promise I will always be there for you. What's your name? Okay, we start today with a prayer and some meditation. A little prayer. Five minutes. Quiet. Hey! Turn off the cell phones and the walkies! Turn the cell phones and the walkies! And the cell phones and the walkies! Jesus! What is this meditation costing me? Five, ten thousand? Okay. We got to work. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe now we can make some movie. Hey, lay down, lay down, lay down quickly. Okay. Oh, uh, oh. Is that uh, is that beautiful? Is that so nice? Okay. So you need to wake up. You sleep. You sleep. Sleep. You wake up. Okay. Now you got to. Get, we need something for her to hit me with. How about a? Rubber chicken. Yeah? Rubber chicken? <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> or, but you know, there's a lot of rubber chickens. What about? <laughs> I think this is it. Turkey neck. Yeah? Whoop, turkey neck. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Props! You do have a turkey neck. Got this lizard thing? It is a lizard. Yeah. Does your lizard spit? Not in my experience. On Mars, a rubber lizard? Uh, this is a, a big, big beef thing. Maybe you could try that. Does it hurt? Well, you try. It's like. Go ahead. <laughs> you are? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come here. Is that good? Yeah. Good. What else do you oh, have? Got a wooden leg. A pig leg. Yeah, it actually belonged to my uncle. I don't know if it works. Ow. Jeez. It doesn't work. No, that's not gonna work. Step back up here, sir. Some crabs? That is a space crab. Yeah, those are hard to get rid of. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Mm. What, um... <gasps> a little aluminum missile. A little aluminum missile. An itty bitty little aluminum missile. A little bitty tiny aluminum missile. What do you think? Funny. You hit me on the head with it. Man, Mark, you have a very big package. What is that, kielbasa? Are we fighting or talking dick? I guess I do talk about dick a lot. Can we kiss and make up? I would like that. Did she say lick? She would dick that? Like. I, I would dick that too. <laughs> I lick it. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's five minutes. Make it six. Okay, make it six. Chase Do you, you know? Maria, something's happening. Cradle the balls, work the shaft. Cradle the balls, work the shaft. <laughs> cradle, <laughs> more cradle. I have a sudden inspiration for a new crew t-shirt. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's been about five minutes, baby. You okay? Well, the stupid doctors know anyway. Do you think you could wait maybe five more minutes? I don't want them to think I went too quickly. And maybe you could mess your hair up a little? Don't worry, we'll have fun on the set. I promise. Two pools, 20 euros each. One, we get a shot in the can today. The other, we don't get a shot all day. That is whack. I'm in. No shot. Sir Jeffrey would like to speak with his director. Do you have a minute for him? For Sir Jeffrey, of yes, course. Sir. This way, sir. Of course, for Sir Jeffrey. I always have time. <laughs> BD. Structurally, they're doing a rather strange thing. They're having a sub-villain killed after the main villain. A sub-villain? <laughs> I'm a bad guy on a submarine. No, no, we, we don't have a submarine in the movie. We, we have rocket ships. Yes. No, my character is, is a main villain, so anyone who would work for a main villain would be a sub-villain. A smaller bad guy. Exactly. So why would you kill a little bad guy after you've just killed the biggest bad guy? Because 
He's a bad guy and he has to die. Yes, but um, killing of the, the, the big villain, that's the climax of the movie. Climax, like orgasm. Exactly, right. Yeah, so after the orgasm, do you have foreplay? No, <laughs> I just take a nap. Right, because the movie's over. Right, I never watch the credits. So, why would you kill a little bad guy after you've just killed the big bad guy? Because he is a bad guy. Yes, but you see, um, killing of the, the little bad guys is the foreplay that leads up to killing of the big bad guy, which is the climax. I don't understand. Okay. Um, Action-adventure movies are, are really like romance movies. The, the, the romantic hero identifies the beautiful girl, chases after her, romances her, finally gets to have her, climax. Action-adventure hero identifies the bad guy, uh, chases after him after some close encounters, finally the bad guy's caught and killed, climax. So you see, it's, it's almost like a love story. But I don't love the villain. Well, no, of course, but, but you know, you still wanna fuck him. <laughs> I do? Yes. Where? In the butt? No! Well, then they... Or they... It's... 69? No, it was a metaphor! A metaphor? You don't know metaphor? It comes before meta five. It doesn't come at all. It doesn't? No. Sir Geoffrey. Could you explain, please, but with the smaller words? Look, as the script is now, it's as though you get to finally fuck the beautiful girl that you've been chasing after the whole movie, then you climb off her, go into the next room, and fuck her ugly sister. Does that make any sense? Yes. Why? Because if you can fuck the sister, you should. But she's ugly. It's not the face you fuck. Do you know the expression, pearls before swine? Yes. Do you know what it means? Yeah. Don't feed pigs pearls because they could choke on them and die. Exactly. Right. Got it. Yes? BD, the crew wants to present you with a cake. They do? For our director. Oh! Hey, cake for everybody! <laughs> cake, 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 cake. I like cake. I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm, 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 I'm really very moved. I know that having a crew like you guys makes my job all that much easier. You guys are fantastic, and I hope that we can always work together forever, forever. Yes? Please, VD, blow out your candles. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay. I'm cake blind! VD, VD. VD, it's whipped, it's whipped cream and it's actually pretty good. <laughs> we'll get it off of me! All right, you did it, Sira. You did it, Sira. You're all fired! Get off my set, all of you! Right now, you fire them right now! VD, it was, it was practical joke. Nobody was hurt. Get out of my set! All of you! You're all fired! You fire them right now, Burton, right now! It's, it's pie and face, it's part of show business. Bullshit! Fire them! We have to finish the movie. No! Get off my set now, all of you!
That's enough. Dvatia, Dvatia! Stay here! Hey, you stupid FX motherfucker. Who's pissing their panties now, huh? Hasta la vista, baby. You wanna eat cake? Dios, baby. Hey, it's pretty funny, a man all covered in whipped cream firing a shotgun. Yeah, funny, let's laugh. Funny firing the face, man. Come on, let's all laugh. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. All we need is some maybe nice tits, then we really have a show. Yeah, that's pretty good, you stupid FX motherfucker who doesn't even know the sound of his own blanks, huh? Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker! <laughs> Doesn't even know the sound of his own planks. Yoke's on you! Ah. Rub yourself. Rub your boobies on me. I feel something. It's working. It's working. Okay. Now that was fun while it lasted. Can chat you. Can chat you. Go. Okay, it's working, I guess. Sophocles heard it long ago on the Aegean, and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. Oh. Oh. Down the vast edges and naked shingles of the world. So I was in the warm. I saw the warm. Thank you, my little fish. Time to get back to work. Vimyovka, uh, touch us after rehearsal. Okay. At this point in the fight, get rid of the swords. We're going to grapple mano a mano. Yeah? Okay. By now, Dark Being has managed to get me in a sleeper hold. And at the last minute, I will overpower him and rip him on the ground. VD, nobody can get out of a sleeper hold. Oh, bullshit. I do it all the time. You said you wanted the fight to be realistic. Nobody can get out of a sleeper hole. I do it all the time, Mark. It's going to knock you out. <laughs> Put one on me. Come on. Give it your best shot, stuntman. Listen, let's continue with the fight. Okay? Are you afraid of the great VD? You think I don't know what I'm doing? You think I got this way from being photographed? My chi will overpower your chi, and that is what you are afraid of. Bring it on, stuntman. Put your best move on me now. VD. It's gonna knock you out. Bullshit. Do it. Get the medic. Tell him he's gonna need to revive VD. <laughs> What's happening here? One minute. I am proving a point to the bullshit stuntman. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't do anything until I say go. Are you ready? Ready. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, medic. Oh, 
crap and pissed himself. His pulse is good. Oh, voice your way. All right, all right. Get wardrobe in here to change his pants. Hey, look. BD wakes up and he finds out that we know that he pissed his pants. We're gonna kiss off the whole day, huh? I thought that's what we were doing already. Come on, come on, pants, flying on in here. Pants? That is whack. Alianska, I have to tell you, I guess I have a magnifying glass. Tattoo. He's had his Johnny tattoo. Oh, oh man, what that would feel like. Nah, nah, that's a rumor, man. I don't believe that. No. It's definitely not a rumor. This is what he wanted. Took about 2,000 pricks on his pork sword. And the uh, tip of his, uh... His manhood? His manhood. I hope he told you that. I hope you did not. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I saw it. <laughs> He had a he had a tattoo of like uh, eagle's wings or a, a talon going over the tip. How did uh, how did you happen to see it? What was the circumstance? No, he just decided to show it to me. So you kept your trousers up. He I kept just, mine up. He just he gave you a quick visual yeah. and that was that. Red talons on the left and and blue talons on the right. It's like an eagle, very patriotic. Maybe he's wanting to fly. No. I think if he wanted to fly, it would be wings. Get the pants on him, OK? Mark, lay down next to VD. We got a movie to make here now. When the medic hits VD with the smelling salts, OK, I want you to roll over like he's just flipped you over his back and onto the floor, OK? Hey, look, with any luck, he'll believe this too, all right? The rest of you, when VD wakes up, all I want to hear is cheering. Congratulations, hey, you were great. Here, you're the best guy in the world. Hey, bullshit, blah, 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 OK? All right, you ready? Mator, Camry, action. I tell you, you bullshit stuntman, and now you have met the great BD. Who is the one with the Embarrass now, man. Is it you? <laughs> yeah, VD, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Something smells like shit. Huh. Oh, why don't you somebody step on a barking spider? <laughs> General, please stop wafting in my direction. Oh, when did I remember to forget to tie my shoes? <clears throat> I have a great idea for the fight. Um, the great VD is going to fly in the movie like House of Frying Dragons. Yes, House of Frying Dragons, you're going to fly me. <clears throat> VD, why would your character fly? Because he is a spaceman. Yes, but House of Frying Dragons was a fantasy. Yeah, life is a fantasy, like Peter Pan. Never grow up, never grow up. No way, not sir, no, not me. <gasps> I just did something. What? The first time I had jelly beans. Louis, get me some jelly beans and take out all the yellow ones. Jelly beans are on their way, Captain. Aye, aye. All right, back to work. Gosh, they're stains in yet. The design had to come from somewhere, even if it was just his subconscious. It's like a, that makes it even better, a direct snapshot into his inner psyche. I think he has color issues. What's the whole thing with getting all the, the yellow jelly beans taken out? Maybe he knows like lemon. No, I think he has color issues. I think that's least of issues. Well, that Hmm. What happened to you? You used to be my best friend. Johnny doesn't come out and play anymore. <laughs> oh, that's better. Hi, girls. Ты такое позволяешь делать? Она получает 100 евро, я получаю половину. 
жмут. Тем более, он у него не встает, знаешь, ему домкратом надо поднимать. Чудеса случаются. Не может быть. Now 15 minutes, then they will respect me. Somebody needs to come. Since 17, Are you recording this? Maybe. Притворяется. Ты откуда знаешь? Падла. Почему я поймил этот день? Это рэп! Я должен работать с ВД. Я не идиот! Schmuck. We have to be out of here by midnight. We still have three days' work left. Emily, get him out of his trailer. Do whatever it takes. Just pretend that you're at the beach. I won't speak to Mr. VD. The great VD. I've made it work. I've got VD's lines in this script, and it works. Okay, uh, we have to cut ten more pages. Ten pages? Yes, yes. Okay. Is that enough? Only, that's only uh, seven? Oh. Does that work for you? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 really. That's not what I mean. Uh, what if the bad guy falls to his death? Trips and falls. By, by himself? Yes. It, it, it's logical. People trip and fall all the time. No final fight scene, no dialogue, no, no, no swords. No, no. Just uh, trips and falls. Like life. Life. Well, why don't we just have them kiss and make up? They could walk out holding hands. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rape and kill your sister. It was an accident. Oh, that's okay, because I live my life out of love now, and I want you to know that I love you too. I forgive you. Okay. The bad guy and our hero could become the poster children for anger management. If we can make it work, you can too. Okay, I get point. <laughs> Burton, thanks for the job, really. But I'm done. I wish you luck. Goodbye.
Aua. I am almost feeling sorry for cards dealt into Burton. <laughs> he put everything into this picture. Yeah, what an idiot. Well, VD's pictures still make money. Not in America. No. Did you know that his name, VD, in America is actually a sexually transmitted disease? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, you know, how you say it in Europe, the whole W.V. Wagner, Wagner. Wagner, Yeah, Wagner. yeah. You know, Emily, last time you were very angry with me. I, I sent you flowers, chocolates, candy, wine, and I even wrote you a poem, and you did not respond to me, and it's... It's my dying wish that I, I have the key to your heart. I, I do not have the key. I cannot find the key. And I just, I, I love you, Emily, and I, I want your love. You won't see my... Then you go sit, work. Yes. No picture. Oh, Emily, you know I have to have a picture. Oh. Oh, I'm kind of sleepy now. I think I have to. I think I have to take a nap. Oh. Wait. Want your virginity? He wants to take a picture. No. Cover your face. No. One thousand euro. Two thousand. Two thousand euro? Yes. Three thousand euro me. Three thousand more my family. Oh. Beautiful. No flower or the things that pop up out of the ground in the spring can equal your beauty. I... I love you. I do. Thank you, Emily. At last my mirror is complete. You will never forget this. You come. Almost. Almost. Am I such a bad boy? My mommy, she breastfed me. I love breasts. There is nothing in the world that a good breast suck can't cure. Am I such a bad boy? Okay. Um, checklist. Let's take it from where Maria doinks me on the head with a little aluminum ether. You know, maybe instead of hitting you, I could help you. What are you going to do if a woman doesn't have a gun? You're going to blow kisses at him? You, maybe you beat him up with your batting of the eyelashes, huh? Is that what it is? You know, I get great idea for your character and you want to change it? Is that it? You want to be the director? Is that it? Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, this will be fun, yeah? We bring in all the helpless girls and a great VD can come and rescue them. What are you doing? Directing? You, get off my set, stupido. Get out of here. You are stupido. If only implants were brains, then you could be Einstein. And then you could direct. Mm. 
Yes? Get off my set. I fire you. <laughs> Win. It's still hard to believe they're not getting bad boy claws. Unbelievable with his reputation. And I hear he gets to choose his own call time. Who you have to fuck choosing on call time? Producer. No, 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 no. I, I mean in life. Yeah. Being dealt in these cards? That'd be the dealer. The dealer. Yeah. The dealer. The dealer. The fucking dealer. The fucking dealer. BD, I'm sorry. We cannot fly you. We just don't have the time. Mr. Producer, you will make the time. No, 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 no. We, we, we must shoot the fight scene as is. Mm -hmm. Let's fight Corey Agrafer. You shoot the fight the way I say it is in my contract. <laughs> you are the director and the fight choreographer, but you're not the set designer. As the fight choreographer, the next part of the fight is in the air, is what I say, you cheap Euro producer, huh? Hey. You can't spend five Euro on a stunt? Huh? I'll tell you what. You take this, you go hawk it for 10 Euro, and you build us a fucking set! Huh? What is this piece of shit? What is this, cardboard? No, it's paper. You give me five million euro, yeah? You tell me this is 10 million euro movie, huh? Where's the other five million, huh? What did this cost? Oh, one euro? Huh? I show you what I think of your set, huh? Oh, 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 precious set. I love you. Oh, 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 shit, 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 my dog. Get away from me. Get away from me. Finished set. I am not finished. Take that, you stupid set. <laughs> I'll show you, you fucking sit. <laughs> That is whack. Um, it's, um, over here, you know. Here, here, like, like, uh, here, here, I'm over here. In here, hello, I'm in the room. Prius, video command, sura, sura, sura. Help me. <laughs> Excuse me. Near Jobu. Happening out there. We do it. Chef. We, we, what do you mean? We're ready. We're ready. Мы тут, мы сейчас тебе ноги потянем, мы, мы сейчас тебя вытащим отсюда. Мы за ноги, хорошо? Ты, 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 ты по ним тихо, сиди. мы за ноги тебя вытащим. I know you want to help. Uh, да, help, help, да, help, да, help, 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 help. Мы, мы поможем. Keep the producer away from me. Keep him away from my butt. Что, butt? Что, butt? Protect Что такое butt? But... А, он, он жопу охранять хочет. Жопу он Жопу хочет. охранять? Ты жопу... Да ёб с ним, давай охранять жопу, что ли. А что жопа делает? Да ничего, следи за ней, не знаю. Хэри, а ты уверен? Я не могу позвонить, как вы знаете. Он заставлен, он заставлен, он заставлен, он заставлен, он заставлен. Я могу убить сейчас, он такой психо, он просто заставил его голову в фиберглазный рок. That's better. Can I say it? Oh, no, please I'm don't. I'm going to. Okay, go ahead. Dickhead. <laughs> Boss, okay, neck, neck, neck. No. Shouldn't you be out there giving him a hand? So you're sending me back to the hotel until you have ironclad assurances that I do not have to do battle with um, a person who's on drugs and alcohol. Wake up, Harry, come on. You have no idea. There's a psychopath on the loose wielding lethal weapons. Now you're supposed to be my agent, standing in front of me and protecting me. Oh. 
Oh, here you are, off in America, in a nice warm bed, and here I'm, I'm on a set with a psycho. Hello? Hello? You voiceless, ballless, neutered coward. Yes, take that, you stupid rock! Take that, you stupid shit. Hey, Vidi, I've spoken to special effects. We're going to fly you. I, I like the idea. It will uh, no, give extra you like the idea. Uh, <laughs> visual interest to... <laughs> you will be very happy that you have flown the great VD. So, Jeffrey. Hey, let's run lines. <laughs> you leave us alone, we are rehearsing. What he's doing? Okay, uh, you have the first line. The crystals are mine. The crystals are for the people. The people are ignorant peasants. They all just piss away their money on tithes and beer. I represent the people's beer. Are you really going to say that? I wrote that, I think it's funny. <laughs> that there's beer on Mars. <clears throat> There is now. Why are you doing that with your voice? Um, I heard of another actor who does that and makes his voice low and gravelly. Yes, but naturally, your, your voice has so much more color in it. My voice has color? In, in real life, you're, you're so animated. But when you act, you, you stick your voice down in one note. I do? Yes. Why would you do that? Uh, because it sounds cool. Yes, for a minute, but, you know, when you go to a concert, don't you want to hear all the instruments, not just the tuba? A tuba what? Toothpaste? Come on, you know, it's a like big brass horn, got a big bell oh, on it. Oh, the tuba! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I, I lick the tuba! Oops. I said lick, so I have to, sorry. <laughs> Do chicks dig that? They go crazy. Well, you've had some breaks, haven't you? A uh, little luck has hit me on the head, among other things. Um, is it true that you went down on all those chicks in front of everyone at your birthday? Of course. Aren't you afraid of contracting something? Mm -hmm. I never get sick. Life is the disease, and I am the cure. Is your microphone on? Disconnect the cable. I once knew a sound guy who played me a tape once of Cruz, you know, going at it in his trailer. <laughs> you know what he says when he's coming? What? Oh. Ah. No, mommy, no. That's fucked up. Quite. You must now swear to me that you will never tell a single soul what I'm about to tell you, or I will hunt you down and kill you. You, you, you have my solemn word as a gentleman. Okay. I will not tell you something about the great VD. No one fucks the great VD. You give me one pile of shits, I will give you a hundred piles of shits. Burton. He told me that we were making a 10 million euro movie. He gives me 5 million euro, right? What does he spend on this set? Like 10 euro? This set would look like shit. I would look like shit. I don't want them to release this movie. Burton is out there right now eating his shit and I am sorting it. As long as I do what I am doing, I am free to leave here at midnight tonight. <laughs> Pretty brilliant, huh? But no one will ever want to work with you again. Oh, bullshit. I got a you know, three-picture deal waiting. I could do a television series. Really? Oh, my fucking vagina. What's the matter? Can I tell you a secret that if you tell anyone else, I get to kill you? <laughs> you have my word as a gentleman. Your film is the only job I've been offered in the last two years. This job saved my house. What? That is bullshit. Fire your agent. You are the best actor. BD, there are a million good actors, but very few stars. You are a star. I am just an actor. Oh, no, you're a star. 
a minor twinkler, perhaps. Only a few stars rise, and you have got yours a long way up there. Yeah, my star did go up a little ways. Yours could too. You know how when you meet some people, you just want to rush up and hug them? That there's something about them you, would, you just want to hold close to you? And then there are other people who give you the creeps. Okay. You have this boyish quality about you. It's adorable. I am one of those people who give others the creeps. Oh. Who's playing the villain in the movie? Hmm? Who? You. Yeah. Was that an accident? No. Then it's okay. Do I look sad? It's been a great living. Most of the time. Do you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of this thinking set? I want to go home. I want to hold my children. Then the great VT will fire you too. Let's do it on the set with more people around. Maria wanted an audience. She wanted you to fire her? Yes, she has to leave tomorrow and wanted to go shopping. Really? Yes. She's going to buy me a present. VD? That, that was great acting. Really? <laughs> what? Thank you, Sir Jeffrey. Think of some really horrible things to say about me. It would be all the more fun. I think I could muster a few things for the occasion. I finally get to do some acting. Yes, yes, a performance is in order. It's going to be fun, yes? Yes. <laughs> Good. VD, what a brilliant surprise. It's been fun working with you. Well, not everyone has said that about me. <laughs> Thank you. You see, I want to hug you. I told you it hits for other team. <laughs> Baseball? See you on the set, Sir Jeffrey. You know what your problem is? No one says no to you anymore. When was the last time anyone said no to you? When was the last time you said no to yourself? What are you talking about? What is a man if his chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed? A beast, no more. The best part of you is not being fed. Why not? Because you've locked it away from yourself and from everyone else with bars of coke and drugs. It's not bars, it's lines. Whatever. It's drugs. It's killing your discipline. And you being a star, it's killing the discipline of everyone around you. You have too much power. And everyone is afraid of, of losing favor with you. or You're going to use your power against them. Everyone is afraid to say no to you, but all they have to do is just say no. You want to say no to me? Yes, everyone should say no to you, because you are an addict, and you belong in rehab. You say no to me? Yes, I say no to you. You want to say no to me? Yes. You say no? Yes. No or yes? I say no to you, and everyone else should say no to you as well. You want to say no to the great VD? <laughs> well, men of flowery words, then you are stupid. Because no one says no to the great VD, especially when VD is the director. So I fire you. Get off my set. You think having to leave your little playground here, your sandbox, is punishment? <laughs> hey, don't let the door hit your flowery dick on the way out. You're not a hero, VD. You're a movie star, an icon that is not as substantial or deep as the film your image is recorded on. A vapid photon glittering for an ignorant audience. I pity, really pity your fans. I wish they knew what an appalling effort it takes to get your facade ready to be photographed. A photographable facade that moves. That is how I shall remember you. You cannot hear my no but you will hear the no that life delivers you. BD.
You are the disease. And you, and you alone, are the cure. and I am the cure. That was my line, he changed it. He was joking. Joke's on you. Dizzy, where are you going? I'll be back. We have to finish the movie. People are supposed to say no to me. You want to say no to me? Okay. Um, no. No. You, you cannot leave set. Fuck you. You want to say no to me? To the great Vidi? You should say no to me. <coughs> what? Did I get some on my face? What are you doing? My dick says no to me. My dick says no to me. Stop this! Stop it! Oh, this mir. Who is it? Was it Maria? Maria. Maria. Hi. Baby, what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to get you something to remember me by. Thank you, Maria. I didn't think maybe you were going to actually go shopping for me. <laughs> what is it? Open it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get this at a store. No, I didn't. Props had an extra one. You oh. like? I love you. Oh, Honey, you know it's not love. It's location. I know, but it's still sad to see you go anyway. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. Bye. Have fun. I miss your tukas. I'll miss yours too. Focus. Are you ready? I was born ready. Today is a good day to fly. Today is a good day to fly. All right, here we go. Set three, two, one. Oh, look, I am Superman! <laughs> and once again, I have saved New York for the 47th time. And we go. Oh, that's a nice rocket. 
Director. Director. Now, do I look like a fish? <laughs> Am I the fish? And now, I'm super, not yet, uh, not Superman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got, I'm behind the rocket. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that is. You think they can keep hoisting him right out of building? Oh, I think they have something even better than that plan. Uh -huh. Woo, whoa. That was a little bit too fast there, Mark. I'm, uh, I'm uh, spinning like that uh, little thing with the horses, the round one. I, I think the balance is off. I'm a stupid here. Uh, let's take me down. Okay, yeah, we're on it, DD. Bring it it's, down. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I don't, I don't feel so good. Oh, I feel all sweaty. <laughs> I told Louie I did not want the fish. BD, are you all right? Okay, I think I'm, I feel better, actually. I'm okay, uh, but get me down. Oh, God, I don't feel so good. Oh, God, my arm hurts. Get me down! My arm. No, Louis. Oh, down. Uh, BD, BD, here. BD, talk, talk to me. Talk to me. Get in here. Come on. That was the puke smell. I think I know what it is. What? The, uh, the tattoo, the talons. Yeah. I think it's a straight shot into his subconscious. He knows. What? He knows that he is controlled by his dick. Ah. And his dick is controlled by some winged thing in the sky that he has no control over. Some, some winged, whimsical beast that has pulled him and yanked him and, and, the, and the talons are deep into his flesh and he, he can't control it. And it's, it's, it's like he's telling his dick that he knows. It's a, it's a concession of sorts. He's conceding to his dick. He was uh, blown out of his mind and uh, probably picked the wrong picture. He knows it's a, a recognition of your own faults. You know, it actually takes a lot of... He may have in more insight than we think, you know? God damn, the tattoo. I like it. Son of a bitch knows. He knows. Can I get a gurney in here, please? Go, let's go. Move it in. Come on. my deep... Okay. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. Straight here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How about some help, Ivan? Guys. Let's, let's... We got him. Got him? Play the body, play the body. That's it. Do you believe in karma? Well, yeah, but it's not often you get to see the big wheel go all the way around in one lifetime. I know you're liking his tattoo, but uh, he shits on everybody. His wife, his children. He probably shits on his own dog. Hey, don't wrap up! This is not a wrap! We will shoot this scene with doubles. Not today. No, no, no. Get his body over here. We are going to shoot the scene with... No. Oh, now she says no. No! <laughs> ah! 
What happened then? I was, uh, I was Peter Pan, and I was doing the flying, and I saw Neverland, and Tinkerbell was calling, and then there was the Fitty Fitty thing. <laughs> God, my mouth tastes like shit. Could I have some water? Water? Louis Pine. Uh, uh, PD, please, just, just lay oh, back down, you, please. Baby. We gotta get you to the hospital. What? We gotta get you to the hospital. We have a movie to make. VD, you just had a heart attack. What? You had a heart attack. Oh, that is bullshit. Kind of, uh, what's your name? And, uh, what's it? What is it? I'm, uh, whoa. Sure. Sure. Hurry, hurry to the trailer. VD. 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 Does he listen to anybody? Tonight. Plus, he will direct the sequel, Hardest Time on Mars. Starting next month. <laughs> he is a natural behind and in front of, of the oh. camera. <laughs> Bardell, Bardell. Oh. tell us about rehab. Stay up all night thinking of that questions. Uh, you, 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 you go to many colleges uh, to uh, think up questions like that to ask in front of a man with a wife and a family. I tell you this, we make movies. <laughs> yes. You make great ones. You, 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 you make opinions, which is like that the, the, the joke that everyone has one of. Uh. <laughs> you use that to, to, to make your questions too. I tell you this, Mr. Reporter, your words, they will be read for a few days. Hard time on Mars will be watched forever! <laughs> I thought one of you geniuses would uh, ask me about rehab, so I prepared a little answer. I tell you this. Re, re, re rehab, it's a little embarrassing, but like pie in the face. It's a part of show business. <laughs> All part of show business. <laughs>
So, Jeffrey, stick with me. We just became the photo op of the week. Oh. You think I'd have rehab three times to get high? Every time it made the front page. <clears throat> Tell your lazy ass agent to send me a thank you. Are you ready to do this? Oh, yes, all right. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> and there you are. That's how we did. Hard time on Mars. What? to say I, I'm 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 really very moved the Greek salad comes with olives and tomatoes boss says you should come with us <laughs> hey, Pancho. Suck on this. Hey, you come to my restaurant. I get the best domades, uh, tzatziki, salad. You come with me. Come on. Сохранить здоровье, что применять.